listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. I forgot these earrings hurt when, like, these headphones are on them. Get it, get it together. We're, we're, we're on. I know. They know I always be in my own world hey, when we hey, start. Whatever. They don't want to hear that. You were just singing. So. Yeah, they didn't hear that, though. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Social Misconduct. I'm Mick. That's B. Waltz. And if you want to catch B. Waltz singing, you did not. go to my Snapchat at It Girl Forever. <laughs> you did. did you really catch it? You caught it? You caught it? I really caught the first time. The Paul yes. McCartney part or the Michael Jackson yes. part? Yes. Paul McCartney. Uh, when Michael. you were actually playing the music. Michael Jackson better, though. But I didn't know you were going to do it. And then you knew I was snapping you. So if y'all want to see it. Check them out on my Snapchat. It's, it's, not, it's not that good. She's a fledgling <laughs> director, camera person. Don't worry about it. It's not even worth Whatever. your time. It's not worth it. I always catch his ass. And then he's like, are you got me on Snapchat? <laughs> Why do all men <laughs> talk like that to you? If you don't know us by now or you're just tuning in, he says that I have the same stupid man voice that I use for, like, everyone. <laughs> That's how y'all sound to me. <laughs> Even Obama? Obama sound like that, too? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Depending on what he's talking about. Yep. <laughs> it's just, y'all can't help it. It's Trump okay. Trump really got their voice. Well, he's just stupid. So, we, you know, we won't even get into him today. I feel like we talk about him way too much. Yeah, we're giving him free press. Yeah, fuck him. And his dead cat on his head, whatever. The fuck <sighs> maybe. God. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I don't get what that is. Hmm. So I think I've talked about Dr. Miami before on the show. And if you all don't know, <laughs> he's a plastic surgeon and he puts the actual procedures on Snapchat. So I just showed B right before we came on air. <laughs> Ruin breasts for life. <laughs> I used to like titties. I love titties. Like, that was my Oh shit. my you, God. You ruined titties for me. So he was doing a breast augmentation on Snapchat. So if you don't follow him, check him out on there. Cause it's not for people with weak stomachs. I have a weak stomach, but I don't know for whatever reason, I just like can't look away. Some stuff I have to like go through real fast. Cause it is disgusting, but it's so interesting to me. I don't know why. So I just show B for the first time. Cause I always halfway joke about getting plastic surgery. Um, halfway joke. And it's only halfway because I'm actually scared of surgery. <laughs> if I weren't, I really would get it. But <laughs> <laughs> so I asked him, would he go to Miami with me to Dr. Miami's office so that I can get lipo? And then I showed him, I was trying to show him the work, but then he said I ruined titties for you life. You titties for a good 20 minutes. I don't want to see no titties for 20 minutes. He took the nipple completely off. Yo. Like he unscrewed that shit. He, like, he really <laughs> he did. Oh my god! When I first saw that shit, I think I held my breast for like twenty minutes just sitting there because it hurt. Like I can feel it. I feel like I should go hold someone else's breast for twenty <laughs> minutes because, man, dude. And I watch Nip Tuck. You know what I'm saying? I love that. That show. ain't real shit though. This is real like like real shit happening in his office. Nip Tuck is still for TV, so they used to show some graphic shit, but not like what you see on the Snapchat, dude. Yeah, that shit was pretty graphic. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> what's up with you? I'm waging an all-out war. Oh God! Against the what do you call it? The Twitter evangelist and the Facebook pastor. Oh God! Here we go. I can't y'all. stand these motherfuckers. Look, I ain't is Beige s- Rage coming? No, it's not gonna come. I'm gonna stay calm. Chris Brown? No, Chris Brown. I'm gonna do Drake. Okay. No, I can't do Drake because Drake is too soft. <laughs> so <laughs> no. I'm not going to say no names. Be but Steph a, Curry. I'm Steph not Curry. Steph Curry. That's the other light skin. I'm not going to say no names. Mm-hmm. But it's a friend of a family member. Okay. That posted some dumb shit on Facebook in regards to the Bible. Mm-hmm. He was basically trying, and it's a black dude now, that was trying to justify not only slavery, like a nigga saying that we should have been slave. Okay. 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 He not only tried to justify that. There was another black dude on another page that was trying to justify why Africa, like the different countries in Africa are in the state that they are in because of the Bible. Okay. You Uncle Ruckus motherfucker. <laughs> like, 
the truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, mm. Africa produces uh, what about ninety nine percent of the world's natural wealth, mm. but it keeps one percent because European countries came down there a long time ago, created these fake countries, carved them up, and took all the wealth. That's why those people in Africa are so fucking poor. It has nothing to do with a Bible written by a bunch of so called prophets. Wow. And the and other you put nigger this on Facebook. Yo, there was two different people. The other oh, nigger who okay. I'm not gonna say his name because he knows somebody who's listening right now tried to justify slavery and he's a brother like are you fucking yeah, kidding me i can't get down with that wow okay right so um, i told you i wasn't gonna snap but i, I really just want to slap the shit out of both of them with a history book they sound like they deserve it mm-hmm. wow but that's it though i, I told you justify I wasn't gonna go too slavery far. He, all right he, black dude justifying slavery i don't understand people <laughs> the fuck he the, he the, he the coon that and I said coon because I can say that. Because that's what that is. He the coon that would tell when the rest of us was escaping. Mm-hmm. But boss be treating us good. Ooh, it's a fucking asshole. I just kept getting blacker. Blacker. Darker. And more darker. <laughs> and more blacker. If you don't watch Boondocks, you then your life it. ain't shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> best show ever. Stupid motherfucker. Uncle Ruckus. How the fuck? Seriously, though? Wow. How's a black person uh, justify slavery? Yeah, seriously. With the Bible. How? Sway. How? How sway. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. But do you approve? I didn't get too excited. I, didn't I know I'm proud of you. All right. <laughs> so shout out to all of the people that complimented my makeup today. Thanks. What about? I like it, too. I didn't really compliment it. I just. He it's gives me, like, right. backhanded, half-ass compliments and shit. You look all right for a 35-year-old <laughs> with makeup on. He called me. He said yeah, I was evil elegant. That was the funniest you shit just all look day. Like, <laughs> like, all day, I laughed out loud when I read that shit. You look like you would smile at somebody's kid, and then as soon as a parent turned around, you would slap the shit out of the kid for no reason. Not true. You look like it in that picture. I don't just hit people's kids. I don't like children. Um, I will be honest and say that, but I don't believe in harming <laughs> them unless they deserve it. Cruella de Vil face. And not harming them, just beating ass. Because I feel like as parents, I'm not a parent, but y'all that are, y'all need to go back to whooping your kids' ass. Maybe they wouldn't be so fucking bad. I agree. Y'all gotta like hurt, like not like abuse, no, but like, a good ass whooping ain't never killed nobody. <laughs> I think I think my mama could write a book. Like I just don't. That. I think that's why kids are so fucked up nowadays and so disrespectful and all of that other shit because you're trying to be their friend. Mm-hmm. That's mistake number one. They're your child, not your fucking friend. And that go sit in the corner bullshit don't work. <laughs> beat their asses. I believe in that. <laughs> if I had a kid, I would beat my kid's ass. Just letting you know. <sighs> Yes, live on air. I don't give a fuck. Bro, like I said, my mom. I ain't having them anyway, so it really don't matter. My mama should write a book and be like, "This is how you keep your knucklehead ass son from ending up in jail." Like seriously, I feel like that's the biggest problem nowadays. I can't stand to see a disrespectful child. Nah. Like I really want to fuck a kid up if I like even hear them talking crazy to their parent or in front of like adults. Like just no regard for. Ugh, it, I hate it. <laughs> I know, fucking hate the it. The little spoiled five year old. Mom, you're invading my space. Little nigga, I will. You <laughs> saw my face. <laughs> it's just ready. <laughs> this ain't even a real scenario no. right now. And I was just ready to whoop somebody ass. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Mm mm. Mm mm. Will fuck you, you how up. You, how you seven screaming at a 30 year old telling them what you're not going to do? I don't get it. I told you. I just look at my nieces. I ain't got to do shit now. Just look at them. They know. Fix your motherfucking face. You better not even think about saying some shit. Because I can read your goddamn thoughts. I will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God I'm not a parent. Okay. Moving right along. We got funny stories this week. As usual. And an interesting segment as well. So we will dive right on in. All right. Do you want to start? Sure. As long as my phone decides to work. <laughs> You know this motherfucker. I don't 
don't know why you just don't use that laptop sitting right there. Because I can't have too many screens pointed at me, man. I'm gonna go oh, blind. God. <clears throat> Owner of a pay to pray website. Why? Pay to pray. Why? Website is ordered to return 7.8 million to the consumers. The fact that a hundred, what was it, 165,000 people were duped by this shit deserve it. I'm sorry, y'all stupid. 165,000 people between 2011 and 2015 paid nine to 35 dollars for prayers. What? What? Okay, okay, okay. Bible, what the fuck? Bible thumpers. Online. Bible so you got to pray to this man or he's helping you. I don't even understand how that shit even makes sense to people. It doesn't make sense. And if you if, if these people actually read the Bible, didn't Jesus get pissed off when a group of people was trying to do the same thing? Like, he walked in and he flipped the tables and he took all, you know. What the hell? Why are you paying for prayer? Why don't you just pray for your fucking self? Like, I don't understand that. Seven million, more than seven Yo, million dollars, dude. But you know who worse though? Creflo got a sixty-five million well, dollar check. Is he gonna have to pay that shit back? No, these people. Okay, so this is why they're saying he has to pay it back because he literally set up a business <laughs> and broke all type of laws and shit. He like put fake testimonials up. He put fake stock photos and shit up online. <laughs> he lied and said he was affiliated with like this Christian prayer center. All type of stuff, dude. Like, he really went there and, like, set up this fake-ass business and was just, like, pocketing people's money. But, again, I go back to the people that actually paid the money. What the fuck? ChristianPrayerCenter.com was the website, and then he had one in Spanish, too. He was ready. Um, he thought <laughs> this through. And um, <laughs> he's, he's going after the people that are most affected by this. So... Wait, is he any worse than Creflo? Yes. Why? Because Creflo at least stand in your fucking face and don't charge you at the door. But Creflo got a $65 million jet. Well, that's because of tithes and offering. Don't matter. That's you, you, but you're doing, like, you go there, that's a choice. He's not saying, in order to enter this building, did you have to pay, like, no. But once you get into the building, he's guilting your ass for well, 10% Well, that's on you, you though. Make. Again, that's still on you for being stupid. Like... It is what it is, hey, right? People people realize that churches operate tax free, right? Do people out there realize that shit? You it. gotta pay your bills. You gotta make sure your lights stay on. You gotta buy food for your family. All of y'all motherfuckers probably broke, but Creflo got a sixty five million dollar jet. Just did saying. you help pay for it? Right. This That's guy true. made eight million dollars. Did you help pay for it? That's crazy as hell to me. This is insane to me. He was telling them, um, he put fake testimonials up that claimed to help individuals avoid home foreclosure, win the lottery, as well as have a healthy baby. So this is the shit that he's telling them. If you pay to pray with me, this is the type of shit that I can help. I have a question. Help with. I have a question with these so-called healers. How come they never go to the hospitals? I mean. The burn victims unit. and the, They the never do good illness. for free. Like, yeah. Right. Children, children's hospital, like kids are dying of cancer. You never go there. If you can really help and pray and lay hands and do all the shit that you claim you do, why don't you do right. that why type of stuff? Why don't you do stuff? it out? Like, I mean, because th doesn't the Bible say you're supposed to spread your good works? It does. Outside of the It church? does. But this man got away for, for years. <laughs> it's 2011 to like last year, dude. Like, really? Creflo been around that long? Who's the other dude? T.D. Jake's been around that long. I'm going to start dropping names. T.D. Jake's not bad. Shit. That's Jesus' cousin. Leave Shit. him alone. They all, all of them are getting over on people. But people and pay for this anything. shit. But dude got caught, and he's going to prison. And he got to pay all that shit back. So justice prevails. Um. <laughs> and somewhere, and somewhere, Creflo is flying in his jet like, this, <laughs> this nigga should have bought my book. You stupid. Just saying. Well, Creflo apparently is going about it the right way. Not the right way, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Not this way. Right, if, if duping people. If there's a right way to dupe people, hey, do it the way Creflo does still it. Still in business. <laughs> so this is my kind of girl right here. I actually thought this story was awesome. So this girl, this makeup artist. Y'all know I love my makeup. I mentioned it earlier. Um, <laughs> so she did a full face, ladies, while in labor. <laughs> At the hospital, just in the bed, 
<laughs> you know those little hospital trays that just go over your lap, <laughs> set that shit up. She pulled out brushes, palettes, like all the shit, like all of it, all of it. This is everything. She got her foundation. She got her brushes. And I'm talking multiple brushes. <laughs> she got a Morphe palette in this bitch. She got her Neutrogena wipes. Like all the shit I you, use. You using, you using words, uh, uh, common man. <laughs> What's a Morphe palette? It's an eyeshadow palette. It's like 35 eyeshadows in one palette. It's about the size of this. I mean, it's 35 shadows. Hmm. And I have like eight of them. This I'm not joking. This I is really, her, huh? I really have eight. She looks really good. She's really pretty, too. Like, did you see the after pictures? Like, she did a bomb-ass looking job <laughs> while in labor. And she said she'll take a break in between the pain and shit. And then, like, her husband will try to help her. And she's sitting there all supportive. She looked fucking good bringing her baby in the world. And I am not mad at it at all. I thought she deserved to be talked about. <laughs> Lashes and everything. Like, she put on lashes. <laughs> liquid eyeliner, bitch. And it's perfect. I fuck up my liquid eyeliner on a daily every morning. She got this a baby bitch is in labor out. and her <laughs> shit looks amazing. Like, wow. her eyebrows on point and shit. Like, the fuck? I'm proud of my makeup today, but that is about it. Like, <laughs> but did you see the after pictures? I'm looking at And them. like, during pray, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. She looks great. I may follow her on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Let me see. What's her name? Ayana? Or is it Ayana? Alaha. Uh, A-L-A-H-A. I know that I fucked it up. Last name M-A-J-I-D. Find her, y'all. Follow her because she did a great job. She looks amazing. She welcomed um, a baby girl on the 15th of February. Did she do the baby girl's makeup? <laughs> no. <laughs> She said she wanted to look her best for her baby. Damn, you be looking busted as fuck in labor, clearly, and at the hospital. I don't blame her. You want to look good, but, girl. But, but can you blame them for looking busted? They shooting another Well, no. Out. Of course not. No one's going to be like, oh, you look like shit. Like, you just pushed a fucking human being That's out of your saying, cooch. Like, no. Of course not. I'm just saying, ain't nothing wrong with wanting to look good <laughs> if you got the time and you in labor, girl, and if you can get through that shit and still look like this, more power to you. I'm here for it. <laughs> but she went full glam like <laughs> this shit was crazy I barely have time for that like daily let alone in labor but I ain't pushing shit out of this vagina so there's that <laughs> you say that now you know, I, I say that forever <laughs> <laughs> I am 35 I think we're good here shops closed thanks <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> I need to breathe. <laughs> you know how I feel about this. <laughs> I was just complaining about kids earlier at the mall, like for <laughs> screaming and running and shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to concentrate. I can't deal. Uh-huh. Huh. Go ahead. You have one. You have one. No, I'm good. I, I am great without it. I'll get a puppy. That's my child. Okay. It's like a having a child. Yeah. And I want like a newborn, so it'll be my baby. You gonna carry it around in a in a, in a purse like everybody else? Probably. And I seen like the Don't baby judge. carriages. No, I think that's them. stupid. It's a waste of money. That looks dumb. Dogs like to walk. Um, <laughs> they actually like to walk, so no, why, I would not why push. Do people, why do people put clothes on their animals? Okay, so I would do that though. It's cute. Okay, we gotta go to the next story because I hate that shit. I, I I'm definitely doing that. You're gonna talk about me daily. Um, it'll just be added to the list it's of like, ridiculous shit that he says that I do on a daily. It's like putting a sweater on a sweater. Like they don't need it. I, I know they don't need it, but it's cute. It's for my amusement. Don't that just have the fucking deal. That should be considered animal abuse. They like. Right. That should be considered animal. They abuse. like it. No, they don't. Shut up. What you say about me earlier? I hope I hope you get that dog and he pisses all over your house. They, he probably would. Um. <laughs> What? He probably would. What did you say about me earlier? I don't remember. Fuck. <laughs> something about, I say, was it confusing shit or ridiculous shit or something? You say it all the time. But it was like a certain word you use. I don't remember. It'll come to me. Go ahead. Next story. First thing to go. <laughs> Man with bionic penis loses virginity at the age of 44. Well, way to go, dude. <laughs> bionic. 
bionic? Well, that's in quotes. So it's not really bionic. I was hoping it would be like an inspector gadget arm. And who fucking that, though? With metal going in my shit. I'm good. Porn stars will. Mm, yeah, true. She is a porn star, right? Uh, uh, She's an escort. Yeah. Sorry. It's a little different. It's a little different. Yeah. But she, she did it for free. She donated her session. Her, a session. All right. So what's the guy's name? I'm not going to ruin it. A Scottish guy. Scottish dude is all it said. Called? Did they even give his name? Mohammed Abad. Oh, okay. Who's a Scottish man. 44. 44. Got his dick sliced off when he was like six. Yeah. Fucking from a around. car accident. Yeah. Fucking around as a little kid. He was, dra- uh, he was hit and dragged by a fucking car at yeah. six. That's yeah. crazy. And so he didn't have a dick for his whole life. They started to do reconstructive surgery on him once he got old enough, and it took a very, very long time to get good. He finally got good. He finally found someone who wanted to fuck his bionic penis, and he lost his virginity at 44. Um, yeah. So with several years of procedures to have a new penis molded from skin taken from his from arm, his arm. Mm-hmm. the penis contains tubes that inflate to give him an erection, just for those wondering how. That, see, I was wondering that, too. But the question that I have is, can he feel anything? He said he did. It said his penis malfunctioned at first, but a day later he experienced conjugal bliss for the first time. So apparently he felt something. I was thinking the same thing. I just want to know, like, how did they do that? Like, how did they make it Does sensitive? He come? Like, what, does something come out of it? I don't fucking know. <sighs> that's that's. <sighs> but this lady heard about it or saw it or something it was in the news right yes the new day uk so she read about him and donated her services to take his virginity and there's that good deed <laughs> i ain't mad at that was either. it good for him shit. i'm saying did she like it well she ain't say i mean because she an escort i mean we Look, those of us that are blessed with our own penises don't want bionic dicks to take over. So she, if it was good, she need to keep it quiet. You know what I'm saying? Such a man thing to say. I'm just saying. Okay. And fuck my shit up. Lord Jesus. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I know y'all saw this shit. This and shit it's, made me it's laugh It's funny because so when you sent it to me, I was going to tag you in it on Instagram. <laughs> The video of the guy singing uh, to the judge during his court sentencing. I know y'all saw this damn video. It's everywhere online. Um, Apparently, it was an Adele-inspired apology. So the song, Hello, (laughs) he used to apologize um, for his crime and thought that that was going to get him off. Yeah, but he still went to prison, and (laughs) that shit, you really thought that was going to work? You're just going to sing your way out of it? But what was funny to me, and you watched the video, right? Uh What was funny in the video was how everybody was just sitting there with a straight face. I would be dying. Dying. Like, they would have to put me out because I would be laughing so fucking loud. Like, how did everybody have a straight face with this dude in there singing off-key? Your (laughs) Honor. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Swear to God, that's how you was singing. That shit was hilarious, dude. <laughs> Yana. I'm sorry for all of my God. That's how he was singing. <laughs> 21 years old, Brian Earl Taylor. That is a black man for your ass. Um... <laughs> You got Earl in there Earl automatically, right. automatically black. So, <laughs> Brian Earl Taylor, who's 21, was arrested in November for holding a gun to another man's abdomen during a robbery in Michigan. Yeah, so that was a serious fucking crime, Brian Earl Taylor. <laughs> <sighs> and um, they held another 23-year-old man at gunpoint, forced him into a vehicle, and drove to the man's apartment to rob him. Does that count as kidnapping? Mm-hmm. That's what he was charged for. Um, <laughs> he was charged for that, too. That was added to the charges. So, yeah, he thought that singing this little song was going to get him off because he he told the judge that he was turning his life around and he was going to pursue a degree at East Michigan University and go to, to church more and be a better role model for his younger brother and provide for his mother. They got, they got church in the booty house. He can sing that. 
Um, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, your honor is like, great, but no. So you're going to do this full term. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to put an additional five charges on you that, you know, from shit that you did before. So, yeah, you ain't getting out no time soon. He asked to be let out early so he could finish his degree. He did. Fuck, you weren't thinking about that shit when you held a gun to this man and kidnapped him and robbed him. The fuck? No. Maybe he had his moment of clarity. Oh, fuck, I got to finish school. Right, and provide for my mama and <laughs> and be a role model and go to church. Get the fuck out of here. So, sometimes. I'm going to just start singing my way out of shit, too. Sometimes. Next time folks. a cop pull my ass over, I'm going to sing to him. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people? I can't. Like. What the fuck? Can you do it again? <laughs> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, As y'all can see, I'm in a good mood today. Because <laughs> I never do things again when he asks me to. <laughs> one more time. One more time. <laughs> Wait, it's the words. Of the, he got, they got the lyrics in here. I was singing then. Hello there, you wanna. I want to say I'm sorry for the things I've done, and I'll try and be stronger in this life I chose, but I want you to know that door I close. <laughs> <laughs> this fool is really dancing. Oh, my God. I'm wow. getting so many text messages of people calling me crazy <laughs> yeah, like, today. <laughs> stop. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, can you, can y'all you, know um, y'all like my song. Can you um do the next song? I mean, next story, please. So um, there's a ninja masturbator on the loose <laughs> in Seattle. And the cops can't catch him because, you know, he's a ninja. <laughs> you can't fucking catch ninjas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, a man that wrapped himself in all white. Mm-hmm. If he's a bad ninja, like this ninja costume is not good. But he it's all white. He not caught yet. Well, okay. I- Touche. Yeah. He has on all white. Everything's covered except for, you know, the the hand and um <laughs> that 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 one working hand and a little hole clearly for, for his penis. penis to be out and like just the eyes. Like that's all you can see. And so he does some weird shit and stands in front of this one house <laughs> several times. Um he's done it and he just masturbates in front of the door. Doesn't try to break in, nothing like that. Just masturbates. So the neighbors saw him, <laughs> called the cops. He gets away every time because he's a fucking ninja. And um, yeah, there's that. So they're looking for him. So if you know anything, turn him in. <laughs> this shit is so ridiculous. But this is a true fucking story. Like I can't even deal. In Seattle, I really need. Like why, why can't you just? What the fuck? Do that shit in the crib. Like weird people are so fucking weird. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and just think, just think. This guy could work with you. I know. He, he could be, be anybody because we be don't see his face. Team. He could be like straight he could up. Be anybody. Like for real. Maybe. So the boy, the guy with the bionic penis, why did Vody call him Robocock? I can't. Vody stupid. <laughs> When is Vody gonna come on the show? <laughs> he will never come on the show. Vody, I want you right there. He would right not there. do it. I'm telling you. Right there. If we paid him, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> like he, he wouldn't do it. I know him, but he is stupid for Robocock. Robocock. Okay. We have to do this last one. And my phone's still not pulling up the story, but I pretty much memorized this one. Baptist oh pastor. God. This one. Sentenced to fifty years. For hiring a mistress and the mistress's husband to set his wife on fire. Because he was in a relationship with the couple, right? Mm-hmm. Like both of them. Mm-hmm. From uh, the church, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. mind you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he, I want to say he gave them, what was it? 15000 $15, and five more. And five more. So mm-hmm. he, he paid them 15000 to set the fire and then 5000 bonus if his wife died in the result. <laughs> and these fucking idiots did it. Like. They He's didn't the kill her. He's the pastor. Well, People they didn't get that five thousand though, cause she didn't die. But so they went. He gave them a key to enter the house. Well, he drugged her before leaving the house. He drugged her. She said that because um, she's alive. Um, <laughs> she's here to tell the story. 
So she was like, yeah, I felt that my coffee tasted weird or whatever, and then I just got really tired. So he drugged her ass. He left the house, took some valuables out the house because he didn't want those to get caught in the fire and all. Um, he thought this shit through. And... <laughs> Gave the key to the mistress and her husband so they can come in. They basically doused the house with lighter fluid and all that shit and dumped some on her too (laughs) and lit the fucking fire. She woke up because she was on fire. Like she felt the heat. She was on fucking fire. (laughs) But she was able to get out, of course. And yeah, there's that. So many questions come to mind. Did the husband know that his wife was fucking the Yes, pastor? it said. And he was cool with that. Clearly. They were like a couple. Like, all three of them, like, were together. A couple, it said, yes. A, a group, what is that? What, Polyamory I, or some shit like that? Mm-hmm. Did he justify it because Jesus said that nope. y'all should you do it? You already know how that goes. This is the same guy who extorted $89,000 from his mother, too, this pastor. This is the dude that they listening to. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my dad that sent me this, by the way. <laughs> hey, daddy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> with all that. Just saying. I just said hi. Mm-hmm. I mean, damn. I can't speak. You can't say hello? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> because it's fun. Um. So, yeah, dude got caught and went to prison. So. Oh, and he was, like, caught up in some other shit where he embezzled some of his 87-year-old mother's money. Yeah, he got he a fucking grand, criminal. He ain't shit. $89,000 from his mama. Yeah, he ain't shit. So. He probably justified that in the Bible, too. Probably. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we'll we just breeze through the rest of these because I just feel that they're funny. Um, this one was really funny to me. So these black guys, two black guys, were caught in, like, a group text. I hate fucking group text, but... He, they were called in his group text because somebody had the wrong number. Um, so somebody texts the group like, oh, such and such had her baby, blah, 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 come visit her at this hospital. So the guy was trying to tell her, like, I think you got the wrong number. You know, people in a group text, so they're still talking. They're like, no, I really think you got the wrong number. But since y'all text us and she had the baby, we're going to come to the hospital and bring gifts. <laughs> and they did it. Wow. <laughs> They literally showed up at the hospital to these strangers' rooms to see this damn baby, and they brought gifts. Like, the shit's hilarious. I love it. I really love that's it. Kinda, that's, like, heartwarming in a weird No, it's way. so cute to me, but, like, weird, too, because only white people will let them in. Because can you imagine one of us? Like, like we don't know you. Get <laughs> the fuck out. Like, the fuck? As but, soon as but, you but, tell but me. You, but you text me, Sean, the phone. I don't give a fuck. As you soon as me. you tell me, like, it's the wrong number, like, I'm going to be like, my bad. And then uh, there's that. Like, I'm starting a new conversation. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Something's in my eye. <laughs> but these fools was like, no, nah, we're going to come up there and we'll bring you a gift, though. We want to see the baby. And they're like, come on, room 190. White people. <laughs> like, I can't. That's, that's, that's their voice. <sighs> come on. Sometimes I change that up. Uh-huh. Um, so that's one. This other one, this dumbass think that he found fossils from Noah's flood. Shut the fuck up. He's stupid. Shut up. And what, his mother's backyard or some shit? Yeah, really. Yeah, okay. He's uh-huh. an idiot. He's convinced, though. Noah and his little ark made it way over here. He's like, the rocks are about 35 to 40 million years old. Okay, yeah. Noah wouldn't have been around 35 to 40 million years ago, number one. He's stupid. Number so. two, the person backing him is an anti-evolution uh, yeah. something or other. So he's a fucking moron, yeah. too. It, so many things wrong with that story. And then this last one, <laughs> this stupid motherfucker, <laughs> he attacked a black man, but told the police he was allergic to black people and he was wearing a surgical mask because he didn't want to get um, whatever black people give you. What do black people give you? I, an ass whooping is what the fuck you need. <laughs> 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 stupid motherfucker. Yes, man from Iowa said he wore a surgical mask because he's um, allergic to black people. So why the fuck are you attacking them? Mm. He used racial slurs, of course, during the fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, he wouldn't catch germs from black people. That's what he said. You don't catch these hands, though. So what the fuck you going to catch? Trump supporter. You already know. Trump supporter. That's, you already know. 
so yeah. Hen- Andy Benavides. I just that, need to say his name because he's stupid. Is he uh that's a that's a Latin last that name. That last name sounds Latin, but he looked white to me. Hmm. Hmm. I can't tell. But yeah, that last name does not sound white. But he did grow up in Iowa. True that. Hmm. Didn't even know anybody other than white people were there. Mm. Um, okay, let's right. get to the segment, <laughs> which I find very interesting because it applies to me. You know, I read it, and it was just way too many numbers. And too it too was. I don't even care about it. I just like the topic itself. Fuck this article. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they just brought up a good point because I say this a lot. So the the title of the article is this is the ideal age difference for a lasting relationship so basically they're just trying to argue that too much of a gap in between ages for a couple called leads to divorce that's what the article is about fuck all that i don't care about that Uh now did they say anywhere in there like if the guy was older and the girl was younger they did not the girl no they didn't no okay they just did like, oh, it's a 10-year gap and it's five years. Like, they just did that. But they didn't say, yeah, if the guy. But I want us to talk about our feelings about, you know, age, dating. Age difference? Older, younger women or men and all of that stuff. So. Okay. You know how I feel. Well, go ahead. I <laughs> date older men. <laughs> the reason why, that's the reason why you keep going, hey, daddy, you're my fucking dad. <laughs> I'm never calling you stepmama. Trust me. You will. No, nah, it ain't happening, Joe. No, I do that to annoy you clearly. I know where you live. To his wife, I promise you, I'm not a whore. I promise you. Um, <laughs> ah. If I ever meet her, she's going to be like, this is the bitch. Dude, really? <laughs> you flirted with my fucking husband on air. <laughs> I can't even look her in the face because wow. I wow. just can't. That's, that's all right because we're going we gonna, to we gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Call me mom from now on. I'm going to call you fucked up for now. <laughs> Are you playing? Anyway, yes, Anywho. I only date older men. Probably not as old as I have dated. <laughs> what's, your la- what's your age cap right now? Um, 10 years, actually. So 50? Fuck you. <laughs> In the asshole <laughs> with no lube. Yo, that's that's just graphic. Well, Jesus. Calling me older is graphic. <laughs> Fuck you. Come on, Granny. Shit. <laughs> See, still going at it. <laughs> you, you know you visual. Like, don't you fuck, gotta be don't like fuck with me. You know how I could get to you. Damn. Anyway. Okay. Stick to the goddamn. All right, time. we on it. We on it. Let's come on. Bring it back. <laughs> Age gap dating go. Oldest I've ever dated. It was a thirteen year difference, and I almost married him. Damn. I was engaged, like so. Yeah. Like now, he would be like able to old get as fuck. an AARP. Yeah, and like shit. now he's old. Damn. And I don't be thinking that far ahead that like when I'm still youngish that he gonna be old you're and not, like you're not youngish. Fuck you, I am. <laughs> I didn't think that through. Um, so he's old now, but that didn't last, so it doesn't matter. So what? I know you've dated older and younger. I go all over the place. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I, I was about. I threw that up there. For I you. was about to, I but I said I was not going to do it. You wasted it. I threw that up there. For you. I didn't. I, I held back. I go all over the place. You keep saying. <laughs> do you have a preference? A preference? Yes. Younger uh, or older? M- maturity. <laughs> That's Age my wise. preference. No, 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 no. Maturity. I've dated people older than me, and they acted like some fucking 20-year-olds. So, I mean, it really depends on the person. I don't really care for it. Like, okay, so I don't really get personal. I'm going to tell you the one time. You know, I told you about that mm-hmm. when I first moved here, and the chick was almost 50, but she looked 20. Mm-hmm. That's too old. I ain't date nobody that's fucking 50. <laughs> like, we could do some other shit, and I won't say nothing, but I'm not finna. Like, you're not going to be on my arm, and I look like I'm helping some old lady across the street. and no, I ain't doing that. I'm cool. It might sound mean, but fuck that. I'm straight. Okay. Mm-mm. I mean, it's honest. I don't think it's mean. Mm-mm. I will date up to 45 right about now. I don't look at that as old, though. Like I said, for me, it's maturity more so than an actual number. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, come on, dude. Like, if 
this text message I just got. If okay, I'm like, go ahead. If, if, if you were 15 and I was like, not even born, like that's just that's too much. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just too much. What would we have in common? What well, would we have in common? I can't say gross because like I said, my ex was 13 and I wasn't born yet. So there's that. I'm just saying. Like, I, I mean, but that was like old. Like that was the oldest I've dated. And I was really young at that time when I dated him too. So it was weird. Not really though. Like, I mean, when you think about it and say it out loud, it was weird, but like us being together, nothing was weird about it. Hmm. Like it didn't feel different. There'll be slight reminders like, oh, you're old. Cause like, there may be some shit that I ain't never heard of before. Something like, like that. I mean, I don't know, just like a TV show or, you know, just something <laughs> where he grew up like, and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So he, he, he was watching MASH and we had to go to sleep. Right. Shit yeah. Came so shit okay. like that. All right. All right. I mean, but other than that, it wouldn't be like a big difference. Like it was nothing that mattered to me. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> younger, I do have an issue with dating younger men. Why? Maturity. I feel that men. Yeah, this is about to be a lot of shade towards y'all. Um, huh, huh, okay. See what I'm talking about? 12. <laughs> I feel that men are immature <laughs> in general. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know when you all fully mature and if ever. So the younger that you are, I just don't feel like having to teach you shit. I don't feel like having to deal with unnecessary <laughs> immaturity because I've already got to deal with that shit at 35, let alone <laughs> at like 27. Like I can't deal. Like I don't have time for that shit. And the one time that I went against my fucking rule and I didn't even date him. I just fucked him. Okay. <laughs> and he's a child and he's told people and I specifically said, I don't like my business in the streets. <laughs> don't tell my goddamn business. What did he do? He went around telling everybody that we were together thirsty and like, yes, that was a problem. And then I had to treat his ass like the child that he was. Therefore I don't fuck with young men. Okay. You asked for a reason. That was my reason. All right. Is it valid? I can't say it's not valid. I mean, it's, it's preference. Like, that's what you like. That's what you like. You know, they say women mature faster than guys anyway, uh, for the most part. I don't know if they mean biologically or mentally or a combination of both. But um, bo bo. you guys kind of seem like y'all got your shit together a little bit faster than us. So that right. Would make sense. <laughs> that would make sense. And then I really couldn't think about dating, like, a really young guy. Like, gross. Like, 21 discuss like i don't i don't get cougars you know how i feel about cougars if you're watching i'm sorry ladies but i don't get cougars you. ain't i mean come i don't on. get it come on cougars, i don't get it cougars ain't really dating young dudes to like be with them for real they might lie some to them, are they lying to themselves saying that shit they just trying to feel young just like the old dudes go after the young chicks to be like oh i still got it that's all that shit is be realistic be realistic you know, they want to see if they have some sort of control over somebody that's still young and vibrant and doing all this shit that they feel like they can't really do anymore. So they're technically they're controlling this person and then living vicariously through that person because the person's still young. So many problems. You so know what I'm saying? Issues. Like I that's how it is. I don't see a. Pro I mean, you know, let them. If it, it, it's fun, but they need to get in their head that eventually the cougar gets old and homeboy or whoever. And we've seen this that. time and time happens, again, yeah. older woman. What was, what's her name? Ashton and, um, Demi. Mm -hmm. He acted like he was all in love. He lasted for a while in that marriage. And then it was like, nah, bruh. And she did start looking old. That's uh, so mean to say. What's the name was like that too. A couple of other celebrities. I like know. I mean, I mean but like this happens. article said though, put celebrity on top of that and they just got issues anyway. So, but I just needed to use people that everybody would know. So I had to use celebrity names and that's what this article used too. Well, for me, uh, like I said, age isn't the thing. I don't see myself dating somebody too, too, too young. What's too, too young? I put it this way. Like, we've had this discussion before, kind of, sort of. When mm -hmm. you're in your 20s, you're still trying to figure out who you are. So, like, if you're at the edge of your 20s, possibly, 
But like, if you early twenties, you still in college. You know what I'm saying? You still living at your mama. Hell like, no. I can't. Not, I I can't do it because honestly, I don't think we relate. I'm far advanced mm. professionally, socially, mature level. I would assume, even though you think I'm 12. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't think I would be able to deal with somebody that was like 18 or 19. Like that's gross. Like I could have a kid that age, honestly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. So like going back to my relationship at that time, I was in my 20s. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He clearly was not. Um. He was in his 40s. Continue. And um, I can see your point. At that time, I was having a good time. It was, you know, it was what it was. But I do feel like looking back, I didn't waste my 20s, but I do feel like I should have been living more. Partying more? Being single and just doing, you know, I don't know, doing things that 20-year-olds do and not be, like, wifed up and shit, because I was at that time. How, how You were, like, what, 23? I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was 23, which is really fucking young. <laughs> and our relationship moved really, really fast. And so. It was it on his timetable or yours? It was both. It, it was it, it was natural, honestly. Like it just that's just how it was. Hmm. There was no pressure for one or the other. We were just having fun and we just enjoyed being with each other at that time. So hmm. Hmm. it was what it was. And I didn't regret it at the time. I didn't feel like I was missing anything then because we had fun. We did a lot of stuff, blah, blah, blah. But once that was over, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I could have been doing this, 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 and this. And then, like, career-wise, I feel like I started late. Like, because I was in that relationship and everything was so serious and all of that, I feel like had I started, like, PR and all that stuff then, I don't know, things would be different. And I'm not saying that I have regrets or anything like that because everything fell into place like they should have. I'm just saying life would have been a little bit different if I were more focused on self and career at in my 20s than a man and a much older man at I, th- that. I think it's more and he brought a lot of grown-up shit <laughs> <laughs> with him <laughs> baggage and shit that i wasn't quite ready for and didn't want i think, so. it's, I think it's more socially acceptable for it to be that way for a younger girl and an older, older man exactly because if it was in reverse and that was me i'm 23 and i'm dating a girl that's like 47. So a woman, yes. Yeah, grown ass woman. fucking woman. 47, 40. Like, my people would have clowned the yeah, shit out of me. Yeah, that's true. You know. Yeah. You know, they would have been like, what the fuck are you doing with, with grandma? Like, they would have clowned the shit out of me. Yeah. It, it would never take And I agree. It is ground. definitely um, looked at differently when an, a, a younger guy is with an older woman than when an older man is with a younger woman. But, I mean... I probably ideally would like to stay within like a five year age difference. That makes sense. But I would go to 10. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I absolutely would date a 45 year old. I absolutely would not date a 25 year old. Oh, God. Jesus, no. I absolutely would not. But would you date a 45 year old? Loose term dating, yeah. Loosely. <laughs> But you and wife her is what you're saying. Fuck no. Are you kidding? Why? No. Wow. Because clearly, cause clearly, honestly, I would feel like she's, like I said. The, the fucking the, cougar. Dude, I would feel like she was using me as like some sort of fucking fountain of youth. And I ain't that young no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. But you would hang out. I've dated. Fuck I've, her. I've, I've, <laughs> clearly. But that's because that's what she would want. Let's be honest. That's what she would want. Because you said loosely. Yeah, that's what she would want. I mean, I've dated women, maybe the oldest I've ever gone, older than me, three, four years, maybe five. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? But like I said, maturity is more important. And, and those people that I dated that were like five years older than me, pushing 40 or maybe even – they were immature. They were trying to live that fucking life that they missed because they maybe had kids too soon or maybe or got, got wiped up too or, soon yeah. or some bullshit. So they're trying to, you fucking 40 trying to act 25. I'm 30 fucking, yeah. fu- like, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's <sighs> fucking stupid. I got you. I had a scenario like that recently, too. Like, like, we gotta a go. little bit back. So, 
and it didn't work well. We're according to this article, and then we got to go. Um, they're saying the bigger the gap, more likely the the higher percentage of you getting a divorce. Uh, but then they like countered that with examples of celebrities that have these age gaps that have been together for years. So there's that. I think the underlying argument, uh, the underlying thing is it has is maturity. Match. I agree. It's with a you. maturity match. I do agree. You know, I agree. For once, we agree. Um, <laughs> Damn it! You don't like agreeing with me? No, I smashed my phone. Why? Why are you putting those on? Okay, anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you all, as usual, for tuning in. You know that I've been really, really, really trying to end on time. So I've been making an effort to get out of here <laughs> on time every week now. <laughs> um, we will have a special guest next week, but you have to be following us on social media to find out who. So make sure you follow on Twitter at Social Misconduct, Instagram, Social Misconduct, and Facebook, Social Misconduct Radio. I am working on a new website for us because um, I just haven't been doing anything on the old one. So <laughs> <laughs> I got shit to do. But look forward to that at socialmisconduct.com. That should be up hopefully by like the weekend. So because that one I'm almost done with. Um, so you will always be able to find like our archives and everything there as well as letalkradio.com on our show page. I was supposed to make an announcement today, but I left that in the car. So next week, <laughs> 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 anything on your end before we get out of here? I got invited by my manager to some bullshit party that I'm not going to. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. I just had to throw that out there. Our manager. Don't be saying your manager like he ain't mine, too. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Homeboy better watch it. With, I don't waste my time with pseudo-socialites. It's not my thing. So whatever, Joe. Fuck that. I got better things to do on a Saturday. So he's not going to that like this Netflix. weekend? Like Netflix? Shut up. Really? Whatever. Anything else? Nope. No? Uh -uh. All right, guys. Same time, same place next week. Peace out. You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B-Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio.